Hey, everybody, can you hear me? Uh, just let me know in the chat while we get things started. Okay, I think, I think I'm good. Let's check the guitar. Cool. Well, awesome. Well, let me mute YouTube so I am not monitoring myself. But hey, everybody, here we are. Here's the pedal. I got my two cameras set up finally, finally working. And uh, I hope everybody can hear. I hope everybody can see. A little more gain on the mic. All right, let's see here. Check, check, check. Is that better? Is that better? Um, I'll, uh, let me just play guitar. Let me turn on the runestone here, see how this sounds. <laughs> Does that sound all right? Is that loud enough? Does it need more? Less? Uh, let me know while we're getting everything going. I'm good. Awesome. More volume on the guitar as well. All right, all right. <laughs> So I think I think that's that's fine. I don't think I'm clipping anything, which is which is important. So yeah, so here's the Oracle, you guys. Um, I'm excited uh, to finally be here. It's been a long time coming, you know. We've we announced the original Oracle uh, idea a while ago. I don't, I'm not even sure when that initial idea came out. Uh, my lovely wife is bringing me tea. Thank you. Hey, actually, could you do me one more favor? Oh, could you oh. <laughs> could you go to the garage and get the other Oracle, the one on the corner of the table? Okay. So I can have one to show everybody. But the original Oracle, uh, if you if you don't remember, or I, I'd prefer you not because that would you know cloud the the memory of this. The um, uh, the original was going to be a digital thing. It had. Uh, digital uh, control, you know, tap tempo, subdivision, it had modulation, it had a preamp, it had all the things that I thought people would want, but it also had a noise issue that I couldn't chase out. No matter how hard I tried, uh, nothing I did <laughs> seemed to, to solve the problem, so it was going to take an entire redesign. I have to start from the ground up, essentially, and while it did sound good, and I still have it, you know, the original prototype, it sounds great. It just wasn't me. Thank you, honey. But this pedal, however, is me. So the new Oracle, which uh, was completely redesigned, started from the... Which way do I go here? <laughs> started from the ground up. Uh, there we go. Um from my buddy John Snyder of uh, Electronic Audio Experiments. He uh, basically took what I love about vintage Japanese delays, like uh, AD, 80s, 89, 8999, the uh, DM2s, and combined it into a modern package that still has classic Bucket Brigade chips, but it has a tap tempo and a couple other features that, that I think really it doesn't it doesn't do anything revolutionary but it does what it does really well and it's a very classic um thing so um people are asking where we can buy it so you can't find them online so they should be showing up at, at dealers not everyone has them uh i did some some send some to wildwood uh mastery music midwood uh both my dealers in canada uh pedal empire in Australia, Andersons in the UK should have some. So if they're not showing up yet, they will be. Uh, just hang on, you know. The dealers, time zones, everything uh, is gonna change when they're gonna show up on the internet. But they are gonna be at all the places uh, eventually. This is not a limited run. This is a new pedal that will be part of the line 
uh, forever. So let's uh, get into some some tones on the pedal board. I've got I've got a smattering of kind of uh, uncommon things, which is I don't know. I just had a wild hair this morning, so I had my grab my AU seventy nine, which is the pedal I make for Mass Street Music, the Olympus which uh, I think I still have some available for, for pre-order if you want to get one of these these bad boys. An, a Runestone, which was my modded blues breaker, which actually sounds killer through the amp. The Oracle, I'm playing my Solus F1, and all of that is going into my Aux and my Victoria Silver Sonic. So here's, here's my, my clean tone, my bypass tone. <laughs> And here is the Oracle with everything at noonish. Let me turn that mix up so you can really hear it. So the whole idea behind this pedal is I wanted to, to live in your guitar sound and not really take anything over, just kind of live in the background. Um, let's run through a couple different couple different tones. So keep the mix basically at noon. Let's do like a slap thing. So as you can see, we have the tap tempo. I'm going to focus on the knob for now and kind of show uh, the variety of what this thing can can do. So we'll kind of get a get it in the slap realm, like one or two repeats. A little bit longer. There we go. So classic, simple, easy to dial in a slap sound. If I use some overdrive. It's coming across really bright in my monitor, my in-ear monitor things, headphone things. Uh, let me know if it's too bright, and I'll I'll monkey with the the tone settings. But that's the slap. Uh, if you put the the time knob all the way down, kind of crank the feedback a little bit, you can get you know a weird sort of quasi like a tile uh, bathroom. You know that sort of thing. Pushing it up a little bit, you know, it just does the classic pink delay pedal sound. Guitar. It's so early. <laughs> Jeremy Shepard, thank you so much. It's a little bit bright. Let me dial the treble back just a hair. Because it does sound bright in my ears, too. So. <laughs> pedals to kind of just live in your chain and you don't really notice them until you give it space you know if you're just it just kind of is doing stuff in the background but when you really give it some room to breathe then it starts doing its thing um bring that delay time up a little bit more turn the oracle off here <laughs> Uh, 
So that's almost all the time. This is the most time it has on the knob. So that's around 600 milliseconds, right? So that's the most time that you can get from the knob, but this tab tempo, unbeknownst to me, when John was designing this thing, I, I was kind of nervous about adding a tap, right? Like, why do you really need a tap for a, uh, a 600 millisecond delay? That's not a lot of time. It's not hard to get that kind of dialed in with a knob. That's why most uh, analog delays don't have a tap tempo. But what this tap allows you to do is push the time further than the knob. So while this is as far as the knob can go, so we're, you know, that's bump, 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 or roundabouts, we can, we can push that. So I hope that comes across. You can hear how it starts to degrade as soon as you go past that 600 millisecond mark, as soon as you kind of leave the realm of what the knob can do, the delay starts to degrade. And as f the, the further you push it, the more um, degradation you get. So let's let's go even further. So we're here. A little bit slower. So it, it's, it starts adding these weird artifacts that... <laughs> Pedal cam died. <laughs> Let's see here. Hang on. I'm using a GoPro, which is not the most elegant solution. But we should be, we should, I should have enough time. Electric Mojo is already out of stock. Um, so, uh, Stang, Stang Guitars in uh, Edmonton just got some as well. So they, they should have some. How am I looking? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I think we're back here. Ah. So... Of course, nothing can go off without a hitch. Uh, chivalry, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, no. I lost my, my Mythos coaster. You guys got to see this. So, uh, made these and the logo's off center, which is really uh, annoying. So, I'm not going to sell them. They're just going to go to dealers and a and, uh, few select people. So anyway, <laughs> I'll have to remember to keep like tapping the, the GoPro or something so it stays on. So that's what the, the, the tap tempo offers you. I saw a comment saying that um, the, uh, you know, they, they don't see a need for tap tempo. And I'm kind of in that place too. For me, I use a knob. I like just adjusting a knob. I know where my settings are. <laughs> Oh, what's the street price? Yes, two fifty nine. Thanks, Tyler. I just kind of set a knob. And just go with it. But the tap tempo is the first thing people ask about. So I wanted to include, include it. And having that ability to go beyond the knob, I think, offers up a, an interesting Easter egg of sorts that you don't normally see. On, on, a, on a full analog delay, there's no digital trickery except for the tap tempo, which is only making 
the time knob a digital pot, essentially. Uh, it, it's not, uh, your signal is not being changed to digital that, by any, you know, at any point. Um, Calcidas, I know that's you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Five Watt World, yes, a mini board. Here we are. What else do you need? So let's go, let's get into a couple of the things. Let's, let's see how it oscillates. So the oscillation is really cool because of the tap tempo. It's something that um, it does things that you, you physically can't do with a knob. So if we have this sort of delay sound, pretty, pretty standard fare, right? Turn that feedback up till about the one o'clock range. Then it starts to want to run away. It almost gets into like an infinite repeat thing. Casey, thank you. But the moment you kind of go past that one o'clock range, you start to oscillate. So I'm gonna have to watch my feedback or my mix here. Right? We all know this game. We have a tap. So you can make it go absolutely crazy, um, which is really the, the funnest thing about. Um, having a tap tempo on a, on a pedal that can oscillate. So, so yeah. Uh, Kevin, is this the echo in the Seuss Mario set? No, no, this is a totally different circuit designed by John Snyder. Um, fantastic designer and, um, completely different. The Seuss Mario set is not, uh, it's like a PT 2399 sort of delay. This is a full fat analog delay uses two MN 3205 chips. I always want to say 3207, but that's like the CE2 chip. Um, 3205 chips has around 600 milliseconds on on the knob and the tap tempo can go beyond that michael bt thank you um a lot of fun a lot of fun okay so let's just get into a couple other tones uh, if you guys want to fire off any any questions uh please just hit me up uh, and i'll try to answer them while we're just playing around here so uh i'll just start stacking some some overdrives and uh delay pedals here Here's with the rune stone. And I'll add the AU-79, how about that? Let's make a sound. Clipping. I dig music once more of that room sounds. Let's do some of that. Pretty fun having that. Cheddar Kung Pao. You guys are too kind. You guys are too, too kind. Okay. Let's get some more. Let's get, let's get spacey a little bit. Let's let's uh. Gotta gotta make sure that GoPro stays alive. Let's mix it up here. Let's see. Lefty Mike, why did 
pedal makers like yourself use someone else as a designer. Well, sometimes my whole thought process is, you know, if I, I, I could probably design an analog delay, but it would take me a long time. It would probably cost me more time than, than hiring someone who's actually really smart. And, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting someone who is smarter than you to, to actualize an idea you have. You know, some of the greatest uh, pedals ever designed were not made necessarily by uh, one person entirely or, you know, even the head of a company. Mike Matthews didn't design the Big Muff, you know, uh, <laughs> that sort of thing. time chris thank you brogan 40 thank you you guys i didn't expect people to ever give me super chats but i, I really 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 appreciate it yes love the one pickup guitar my soulless part of me wants to put in a hotter pickup just because i'm so used to in my p90 and humbucker guitars but but i feel like i just need to resist temptation and keep a more traditional output you know, telly sound, and it, you know it, it does it does the thing as Rhett says. Uh, so I just need to keep it. Just need to keep it. Just need to keep it. Super chat for a super <laughs> chap. <laughs> Tierra, you're funny. Um, Brandon Holiday, celebration donuts. Oh man, we got donuts on Saturday, uh, and uh, I ate uh, all of them. So people wanted to hear some more slap sounds. So let's get some more. Let's get some slapping happen, and then five volt world. Thank you. What amp is this? This is my Victoria um, with the aux. Nothing at Wildwood. Um, they they might not have them up yet. I will email all my dealers again today, and. Um, uh, let them know that they can put them put them live. Um, Jeremy, thank you. Yeah, man, it's 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 been a long time coming. So here's some there's some slap. There's some slap. One thing that I wanted this pedal to do, and maybe I'll crank the Victoria and show you guys. I wanted the the mix knob. I'm gonna make sure this GoPro doesn't fall asleep. Wanted this mix knob to kind of to not. I, I hate it when delay pedals are too much. You know, you you have to put it like all the way down low for there to be any usable range. Everything else is too wet. Uh, so I wanted this pedal to have a really wide range on this mix control, and I feel like it does that. Uh, Tyler, route that bad boy for a humbucker. Not really. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, the Olympus, uh, these, are gonna, these are gonna be going up really soon. Uh, Vanessa, hey, I need to try to get you one. I saw that you're doing Premier Guitar stuff now, which is awesome. So anyway, here's some more slap stuff. Let's use the... Use the AU-79 again. Ooh. A little wetter. Does it flip the phase? I would have to ask John. <laughs> I literally, like I handed this project to him and said, this is what I want. This is how I want it to work. And the first prototype, 
which is somewhere in, in my house, was was immediately like so close that we just had to tweak a few values and then he redesigned a couple things to like replace where wires are connected and stuff. And it just turned out uh, so quickly and easily. But as far as like flipping the phase and whatnot, I don't, I don't know. Rhett Shaw, you'll be dipped. It sounds good, man. <laughs> Uh, great glasses, thank you. Yeah, they. Uh, my old ones, I had this real problem, and anybody that wears glasses, you might experience this, where your temple, like this part, you just whack it on stuff, and those glasses were so sharp, and I would hit uh, my son and the wall and all sorts of things with my glasses, and I felt so bad, but, but yeah, now I'm rocking these clear shades, which I forgot Joey Landreth had had these like a, a few years ago, and I think everyone... If they remember that, they're probably like, Zach's just copying Joey. But that's okay. Uh, you know what? Let me crank up the, the amp a little bit um, and, uh, and see how this thing sits on a little bit more of a driven sound. So let me turn the Victoria up a notch or two. Okay. All right. Woo! I copy Joey on everything. That's true. So there's with the amp. Let me turn the pedal off. Thierry, thank you. So that's that's the amp. If that's too loud or clipping really bad, let me know and I'll uh, I'll adjust it. But um so that's what the amp kind of pushed. And, and, you know, that's how I run amps. Like, typically, I would have it like that. And I'd probably, you know, kick on an overdrive. And then roll my volume back. Whoop! <laughs> so my camera died. I assume you can still hear me because I forgot to plug in my camera. Okay. <laughs> oh man, there we, whoa, okay. I'm back, holy smokes, what a day, what a day, okay. Johnny plays what? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A goat sacrifice for the Oracle. <laughs> um, all right. Just put my face on the GoPro. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> that, that. They say this thing's 4K. I don't think it is. But anyway, that's kind of how I run like a setup. Not not that tone necessarily. But my amp is always kind of, you know, on the cusp of, of really being pretty overdriven. And I ride my volume. Right. So I'm always kind of there. So running the pedal with that amp driven a little harder. So as you can see, it, it you know, pushing the amp brings the mix of the pedal um, up. So it's not as, uh, it's more in your face uh, when you're running into the front of an amp. And honestly, I haven't tried this thing <laughs> through an effects loop yet, and I probably should. Shame on me, right? So you can hear how much more of a... So it, it sits a little more forward. Jeremy's asking for humbuckers. I knew I should have grabbed a humbucker guitar, but I have one right over here. So uh, you you stay here. Don't go anywhere. I hope, I hope my camera doesn't crap out again. You know, I thought this was going to be more professional. Little did I know. Okay. So, 
Here we go. The old PRS here. There we go. Okay, all right, humbuckers, humbuckers. My main camera just turned off. Am I am I okay? <laughs> check, check, check. Okay, is everything all right? Okay, all right, all right. So this was with the amp still driven like it was, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. See, you get me to mix it up and I'm not prepared. And these things happen. So seeing as Rhett Shell's here, did everyone watch the Pedals the Musical? Whoa. There we go. Live YouTube, everybody. Here we are. It'll have to do. So here's the same settings on the on the Oracle with the, the DGT. So having that hotter pickup, you really can um, gonna hear it like sitting even more forward. <laughs> Which I like that, um, that you know we have that that option to kind of take it down a little further. If you if your amp's really hot, you have a higher output guitar. So you know. It's doing that thing. Uh, try it with, with some more gain. Try the rune stone here. It's an analog delay. It does that. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> I feel like I need to download this and then re-edit it so I can cut out all the, the live faux pas. But um, I'm, I'm so glad you guys, you know, made the, the, the time to come watch this today. I um, feel really ill-prepared because... Um, it's been incredible. It's been an incredibly busy year, and if you're on my newsletter, you, you probably got my. Um, I, I hope you got the email, and uh, saw the thank you for everybody for supporting us over this past, you know, over 2020 and even through 2021. It's been an incredible year already, and um, unfortunately, I, I didn't do as much as I had hoped for the release of this. I wanted to get more to to more demoers and then have everything kind of the proper way, have more pedals at dealers and all that. But, you know, um, one person can only do so much. Uh, but um, can I do a quick slap, slap back? Yeah, yeah, let me do that. But in other news, Mythos is, is finally looking at a commercial space. So I'm very, very, very excited about that. <laughs> Can I do any slide? 
with it. I can't play slide because of my dumb left hand. So I, I'm, I, I, uh, I don't have the ability. Uh, I've tried to play slide in the past, like with the guitar on my lap, but I'm just, I'm not good at it. So sorry. No, I'll have to get one to, to Ariel or Joey or someone, Mark, who can actually play a slide and, uh, uh, have some sort of competence because that ain't me, unfortunately. But like I was saying, we are looking at finally getting, uh, Rhett, of course, Rhett can play slide with it. Uh, <clears throat> he's better than Josh, you know, shots fired. Uh, <laughs> but we're finally looking at a commercial space. going to have, you know, a production room, an office, a video space, a warehouse with a shipping dock and all sorts of things. So it's really exciting and um, super pumped to be taking that next step as um, as the business has grown really beyond my capabilities. So I don't know when that's going to happen necessarily. The, pl- the, the, the path is laid before us. Um, I've said I'm in, but, you know, things take time. And uh, in the meantime, just going to keep cranking them out. And I have a few other people that are hopefully going to help me and, and, and whatnot. Um, you heard Rhett's slide tone is trash. True or false? False. It's a sick slide tone. But anyway, uh, any other questions? I want to put this PRS back up. Get back to my Novo. The podcast for Dipped in Tone, since Rhett was out of town, um, is going to be me and Matthew uh, tomorrow. And uh, after after go every time I go to Novo, it reminds me how much I, I love these guitars. And then I don't know because because during the winter and in the really dry months, uh, I try to have my guitars put up, um, so I, I don't see them out, which is which is unfortunate. So the guitars that that I have out are usually the ones that that they, they're not going to move, or if they you know if fret sprout happens, it's it's not as terrible, and I, I'm. I'm not as in a rush to fix it, but when it happens on one of these, I'm, I'm more disappointed that I didn't take better care of my stuff. So now that, now that there's some moisture in the air, I want to be keeping these things out and get to playing them a little bit more. Oracle is the shill of the week. Yes. Uh, Olympus after the delay cleaner amp. Um, you could do that. You know, it'd be kind of just like what this is by hitting the driven amp. That sort of thing. Uh, does does the Oracle handle longer ambient delay? So, if you miss the beginning, <clears throat> one of the things that this pedal does is it has around six hundred milliseconds of, of delay time on the knob, right? So that's that. But the tap, temp- the tap tempo foot switch allows you to push that time even further. So you can take it past that. And then what starts to happen is you start to get that real degradation. sort of thing i'm not great with doing that kind of guitar playing um i'm i'm mostly just the kind of guy that's like you know doing simple um those sort of things that's kind of you know that that's the way i use delay um but if you're into having that sort of artifacty broken repeat which is kind of cool and it would be really cool to stack with another you know digital delay or something that had the capability to do longer time um then you'll really like this <laughs> so uh when you run a drive pedal over a unity gain into a delay pedal does it overload the circuit uh it depends does it do dotted eights well you know it's mainly just a quarter note thing but you can kind of it's a well so you can't do anything dotted, unfortunately. You just have to fake it. You just have to play and uh, let it 
sit in the background. Not really. It doesn't really do that. <laughs> it's a pretty straightforward um, delay uh, unit. So the only really features that it has, the features that it has um, are on-off, through bypass, tab tempo, time, feedback, mix, has top mount in and, in and out, mono only, no stereo, and then, uh, where's it at? And then the tap out, external tap jack. And uh, I should say, uh, Karen from Big Ear helped me come up with some of the art. I, you know, she and I collaborated on really dialing this in. Uh, you know, it's been a, it's been a community effort and I appreciate all everyone's input. Grant as well has been a real sounding board. So has Chris Evans, um, a lot of the design things, uh, in, in, in the, the pit, the, in the camera here, it actually looks more true to color in the GoPro, but it's, it's really a unique color. It's kind of in between red and pink. It's called Barbie pink, but, um, uh, it's not exactly pink and it's not exactly red. So if you want stereo, buy two. That's right. <laughs> uh, but anyway, Captain America. Yes. A different Chris Evans. Oh, that's right. Yes, when I was texting Chris about it, a bald eagle flew overhead, and it was like a, it was an omen to do the thing. It does sound good. Thank you so much. I, I'm so happy. It's one of those things. It's just like, man, this really came together. <laughs> Max delay time with three repeats. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's just try to get one. Uh, two. That was kind of two. That's two. Here's kind of three. One, two, three. There you go. guys so thank you for for hanging in there let's uh, let's wrap it up with some more questions um you know the stream will end in about 15 minutes or so and uh don't forget to watch that pedal shows live stream that they do every week their um their q a and whatnot uh it does a thing thank you thank you thank you thank you it does it does a thing and it's it's the thing that i i hoped it would do and i'm glad that it <laughs> i'm glad that it all came together uh Tommy Judd, oh, you're too kind. I feel like a hunk. I feel like a hunk of donuts because that's all I had for the past couple days. It's all I've really eaten because that's just where I'm at right now. You know, we go through these these moments, especially in quarantine. Uh, yes. How long have I been working on this? So, um, last year around January, um, I talked to John, and I think we really got started around February, so it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> Mythos Monday makes Monday much, such a better day. Thank you. Pedal show's not for another hour. I thought it's at noon or at, at, at 11. I always thought it was at 11. So, but I, you know, I have to go get to work too. So, <laughs> so any other questions, guys, while we're kind of winding down the rest of the stream here? Cheddar Cone Pal wants one. Someone needs to put one on their website. Yeah, it, keep an eye on Wildwood. Uh, uh, try Hanover Strings. I sent them a couple. Um, and uh, they're in New Hampshire. Uh, would love to see it on the board with other analog delays that was inspired by. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. I was, I was thinking about doing that today, but I thought, you know what? I don't want to cloud it. I don't want to... Um, step on its toes so we'll do that maybe next week uh we can have all the um have all the the other pink <laughs> delay pedals that that you know paved the way for this thing because i do have a handful of them so um brooke and dan got theirs from mass street awesome got yours from mass street can you hear a clean amp the AU-79 and the delay. Pretty please. Ben Morris, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the amp down again. This amp is, this amp is never like clean, 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 you know. There we go. That's, that's kind of clean, right? So there's the AU-79 with the delay. What amp am I using? This is the Victoria Silver Sonic with the aux. So. Uh, turn that up a little bit. So I can kind of do, let's see, let's, let's see. Will I get a copyright strike? Will they take me down if I'm doing this live? So, you know, that's another sound that I wanted it to have um, that can do that kind of classic Pink Floyd. Because that's, that's some of my favorite delay, even though that's, you know, a Benson. A totally different animal. But you can kind of, you know, get that kind of thing. I think it works well for that. Uh, any last minute things you guys want to hear? I'm not going to get any more guitars. We'll keep it with the... Keep it on the, ugh, I'm sitting on my cable. Keep it on soulless here. Sounds smooth. It is smooth, yeah. It's a really, you know, it's not, it's not so dark. Because I feel like my, my uh, DM2, my Waza DM2 is, is a little bit darker than this. But maybe not. I, I, I've tried to balance the voicing where it had cut, but it, it also, you know, had that classic warm repeat sound. So, depends on how well you play it if they take you down <laughs> on a copyright strike, yes. Um, when, you sh when I shared the Instagram post, it, you added an audio clip of time in your mind. <laughs> and, and one thing I should say too, and I didn't really touch on this, um, the mix control, it doesn't go full wet. Like you can still hear, right? So I think it's working in parallel. So it's just putting it basically as the same volume as, as the, the, the 
bypass signal. Maybe a little louder. Which, which I like, because I'm never one to have it completely wet. And I feel like this allows it to, to live under to live under the, the, the bypass sound a little bit better. See? So, you know, that's, that's basically it. <laughs> I, I'm so excited that this is finally in the world i can talk about it i can show pictures of it i don't have to hide it i don't have to get grumpy at people when they're like show a picture and i'm like no you know it's um you know it's here and what is it based off of so it's really you know it's inspired by a, the the ad80 which is the old ibanez maxon original delay pedal in like the ts808 shape um but it's not a clone of anything per se it's you know it's it's an original take on like you know the mixing circuit and the, there's a preamp in there and the the compander circuit everything is is a tweak and and a, and a it's, it's it's inspired by all those pedals but it's not necessarily a one-to-one -one replica of of anything necessarily it's just kind of built around those ideas in a in a modern and, and uh more efficient way because it's really low noise that's one thing i hate about delay pedals is is, you know, let's, I'm going to crank it up here. It may not be able to come across. But there's not really any extraneous noises. There's no hiss. There's no crackles or anything. You know, there may be some just from, from doing this live. But, but yeah. Does it add something to the tone? It adds a little bit of clarity. Uh, and it probably won't come across in this. I'm going to try my best this week or next week to make a proper demo video. And hopefully I can can show you guys kind of what it does to your bypass signal. Because it just kind of makes everything a little bigger. Uh, but it's really subtle. I mean, if your amp, if, if, if it had a bigger knob on it and your, your big setting was at 5, this pushes it to 6. It's really subtle. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Uh, by the way... By the by, <laughs> I don't know if anyone would be interested in this. I've been, I've always been toying with the idea of making cables, uh, and I've got a bunch of this really nice, uh, it's like called Big Fatty cable, and it's um, it's kind of this purpley bluish color, and I'm thinking about making some with just like normal Switchcraft style ends, um, really simple. I don't know if that's probably blurry as can be. Um, But I have a whole spool of this cable, and I thought, you know what? People might want this, so if you want a cable for a very reasonable price, let me know, and maybe maybe in a few weeks I'll be making some of those. Um, thank you guys for the kind words, Mike. Um, is there a runaway effect on the tap? No, no, there's no hold. Uh, or if there is, I don't know. I didn't know about it. Oh. No, <laughs> I, I didn't think so because I told John, he asked me about it and I was like, eh, because it would have had to have been a, um, it would have had to have more stuff on the board, obviously, to make that work. Essentially, you have to set up a whole nother little circuit that has um, like a relay that, a short, that shorts out that switch and and whatnot, but, or, or, or maybe the, the feedback uh, pot rather shorts that out, but just couldn't uh, couldn't decide if that was wholly necessary. And for me, I thought, you know, as fun as that is, it I don't think it, it's something it has to have. So just went when it went with the simplest way possible. And if you guys see the ad on um, on Instagram that that Chris designed, he and I collaborated on this idea, and he he actualized it. This idea of making an ad that looks like it's a little bit clearer on Facebook because it's like the, the bigger version of the ad. Making something that looks like it came out of a guitar player magazine, you know, the late 80s <laughs> uh, with, you know, the really um, uh, 
garish kind of colors and stuff. Really fun um, kind of thing. That's, you know, that's kind of where this pedal, I feel like, lives, uh, sitting right beside all the most iconic delays. Not to say that this is iconic. I'm not, I'm not you know, that I'm not, I'm not trying to say that. But just saying that it lives in that realm. It sits next to all those things on a shelf. You know, if you, if you had to, like, categorize your stuff, um, analog delays, this would sit right next to your DM2. This would sit right next to your... Um, your 89 and you know that sort of thing uh and not next to your strymons and and that stuff but you know not to disparage those i love those pedals but this is this is just me and uh that's kind of the long and short of it the the reason i went this direction is because you know that first oracle delay that we you know the white one and stuff it just wasn't it just wasn't me you know so Marcus, play some more. The stream is about to end, so uh, yeah. Patch cables with the pancake connectors will be good. Maybe one day. Uh, one might say it's a mythical delay. You might. <laughs> I would appreciate it. I can't say that because then I'm, you know, a little full of myself. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for hanging Thanks for all the super chats. That was really kind of everybody. I appreciate that. That was that's really awesome. Um, it's just gonna go right into the business, right into the let's design and build more stuff. I, I'm gonna order more chips for those that haven't got one yet. Uh, just lastly, dealers are getting them. More are being made. Everybody that even had some this morning have more on order. I'm gonna continually be cranking these things out. This is not a limited edition. These are gonna be here. Is, uh, until there's the next version, which hopefully is a long time from now. So um, I hope everyone that wants one can get one soon. And if, if you can't get one today or, you know, this week, just, just hang in there. Uh, follow follow me on social media. I'll be sure to share uh, when, when dealers get them. Hopefully, you know, they'll post on stories and I can, you know, repost that and you guys can can see that. But um, thanks. I feel like it's, it's going to be a good day. And I appreciate all you guys for hanging out. Um, can your super chat turn into a cable cheddar? Yes, it absolutely can. Hats, hats are coming. Uh, this is some samples with just the H and then more of the logo hats are coming. So, um, thank you guys so much. Um, and, uh, I can't wait to, um, see what you guys create with these because that's the ultimate thing, right? You know, I, I'm not making this just so I can sit in a room and go, blah, blah, blah. I'm making it so you guys can make music and, and, and get inspired. And I hope that it does that. So thank you guys so much. Um, everybody have a great Monday and a great week and, uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. See you guys. <laughs>